Alright guys and welcome to another episode of 5. Today we're going to be looking at 5 things you should be doing before and when Football Manager 2016 comes out. So first and foremost, look at the screen. This obviously has FM 2015. But as you can notice, we have logos. We have face packs. And we have kits as well. Of course I'm talking about, you should really start looking for what graphics you'd like to pimp out your FM16 for. There is so many graphics. So many graphics providers, makers on the scene, on the community, forums galore, the workshop. Honestly, like there won't be any skins to start with. There might be one maybe two or three days in when somebody doesn't like the colouring. But straight away you can get in looking for logos, kits, FM View has absolutely hundreds. Definitely check them out. Of course you've got the likes of there'll be stuff in FM Scout, there'll be stuff in like just everywhere, there's that many sites. So honestly the, the official forums, you name it. Definitely like so many different versions of the kits especially and the logos. Face packs. I'm kinda one of these guys where normally back in the day didn't really care what my player looked like. But now I just need every player to just to have a face. That's basically it. they need to have a face. A lot of good face packs out there. Personally I'm using the cutout ones from uh, Sort Outside. There's just so damn many. Honestly, it's an unbelievable amount they've got in it. I definitely recommend that. But, you know, maybe you're going to play a small database and you just want a, a different style of face pack that's really cool. But definitely, guys, yeah, start looking for graphics now because the time you download them, some could take ages, some could be on Sharpish. Remember that beta is potentially just two weeks away. The second thing I'm going to mention is something that's nice and short and sweet. And it's one problem that a lot of people always see me come with and um, it's the same thing it never changes and that is how do I get my graphics in the game it's very simple guys once you've installed it you'll have a sports interactive folder you probably still will have one at the moment actually if you've played F FM15 you just select the 2016 folder from there and then say that create a new file called graphics copy and paste all thing all the logos etc in uh, and different folders within that file uh, down as either logos, face packs, kits, you name it, and from there they should all be in your game. If you remember, once you get into preferences, to to clear your cache, which will mean once you reload the skin, all your logos, graphics will appear within the game. Now, for number three, guys, it's something a little bit different, but it's something um, I was guilty of not doing in the update of the, of the last FM. And that is uh, enabling the German national team and uh, basically deleting the, the fake files. Basically what this does, it allows the German national team in your game. I feel if you don't have the German national team, it's a bit easier to exploit it. Because no real German player gets called up, so you can easily go, here's 20 million for this player. After one international appearance, which you know, he's never going to get. And it can decrease the value of your players as well if they are German, because they're not getting international call-ups, which means they aren't increasing a reputation. So how do you go about doing this? Well, I don't particularly know how to do it for the Mac. I'm a PC guy, but there'll definitely be guides out there for Mac users. So I definitely recommend checking that out. Basically all you're doing is you go into your C drive, program files, and you find the Steam folder, then Steam apps, you find common, the next folder will be Football Manager 2016, data, db, 1600, inc, and then all. Basically when the new update comes out, there will be a new folder called uh, 1601 and you will repeat the process when the January update is available sometime roughly about March. The three files you'll be looking to delete should be fake.inc, then lic underscore dan underscore swe underscore fra dot inc, and the final one is nleague.inc. At number four, inc. it's nice and simple, it's two weeks to go, you don't want to be going right at the FM coming out, you don't want it to be downloading and you're like, eh. Uh, Mm. Who, should, who should I go? This is the thinking time. This is when you should be putting together who you're going to manage and where your adventure is going to take you. This is where you should be scouting the world, looking for that next signing, that, that first signing when you put the game on. This is preparation time for that big save once the and game And last but not least, guys, is something that is more for the long-term player, the guy that's going to have new gens in the game and have a long-term save with the new gens as part of their, their team. And basically it is to recommend the new hairstyles that are available via two different mods that I've found. Because I feel the normal uh, new gens is very basic, 
there's not many options and you know it gets a bit plain there's two two downloadable things you can get both of them are definitely on FM Scout they'll probably be in a couple other places as well but there's the OLT Expanded Hair Pack version 4.0 and we also have Devski's World of Hairstyles both of them give you so many different things like you know different facial features completely different hairstyles one of them is even get a tattoo in the neck it just makes all your new gens look so much more unique and if they're from a different country uh, you know, or, or a different continent, you know, like an African will maybe have a more African uh, a hairstyle you would associate with somebody from Africa, basically uh, and you're more likely to get chavy haircuts from people from Britain, so just, it gives it all that little bit more that just makes it, you know, each new gen has their own unique identity and if you're going to put a long, a long term save, you know with that one player in your team the whole time you're going to be able to identify them and it doesn't just look like every other generic New gen. And of course, some of them even add glasses in, so you get your own Edgar Davids at times, which just looks absolutely amazing. So that's just a few things I would recommend, guys, before FM 16 comes out. Just make sure you're as ready and prepared as possible for the highly anticipated release in a month, and of course, two weeks until the beta. So thank you for watching, guys. If you enjoyed it, smash that like button. If you get any comments, need any links, let me know down below, and I'll try and supply some of them. And until next time, this is Twitter on Maxwell. I'll see you all real soon. Bye-bye.